people. So when I when we hear these politicians put out their little statements to Israel saying we we pray for the, the Israeli lives lost, no, these aren't our politicians. These are not who we should be supporting. It is imperative that we know what Palestinians are doing now is what the world has been doing. This armed struggle, this resistance that is happening against oppression has happened in Zimbabwe. It's happened in Nicaragua. It's happened in Angola. It's happened in Kenya. It's happened all across the world. This act of armed struggle, taking up arms to fight back against the literal genocide of your people is a known tactic and it is a necessary tactic. It's messy and it's deadly and it's ugly, but it's necessary. So I just want to say unequivocally that I stand with the people of Palestine, that my friends and my family in Palestine, I, I stand with you and I love you. And I hope that Rochester and the world can all continue to stand and fight against this and fight in order to, to demand that the United States pull their funding from Israel because we don't call on it enough. Halima just 